<laughs> Call the meeting to order of the City Council for Monday evening, November 23rd, 2015. Stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, Council Rodriguez did contact me earlier today and is unable to attend this E uh, evening's meeting for uh, prior commitment. Council Sullivan. President, I'm going to make a motion. We take agenda item number one uh, under suspension of the rules and act on it tonight. Second. second. Motion been made and second that we take item number one uh, under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. <coughs> All in favor of that? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, would you read item number one? The appointment of firefighter Brian Dalton to the rank of lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. And the question now on is adoption of the appointment by a roll call order. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 in the affirmative. And the appointment is confirmed. Mr. Dalton. President, I'm, uh, I'm going to make a motion for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. second. Motion has been made and second for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Lieutenant, good luck. Congratulations. I'm Congratulations. sure you're going to do an outstanding, standing job. Appreciate it. Thank you. Councilors and guests, we're going to take a two-minute recess so Mr. Doughton can uh, say hello to uh, people that want to say hello to him. City Council is back in, back in order. Mr. Clerk, we start with item number two. Report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of November 16, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Report of Public Safety Committee for its meeting of November 16, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. The Finance Committee for its meeting of November 16, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor. Request on Council approval to execute the proposed 20-year agreement between the city and Stoll Hill College. This agreement provides the terms and conditions under which the city would provide sewer services to the college. It provides for an increase in the sewer revenues to the city at more than 20% compared to the present contract. It also provides for $150,000 in new annual tuition assistance to Stonehill College for qualified graduates of the city of Brockton's public schools. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the CFO. 
relative to the same. Accepted and placed and filed. Communication from the DPW Commissioner. Requested that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of two Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection Sustainable Material Recovery Program municipal grant. Grants were combined by Mass DEP to a total of 30000 one small-scale initiative grant in the amount of 2000 and two recycling dividends programs in the amount of 28000 Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. That is amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances. The City of Brockton <coughs> be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map for various plots on Brockton Assessor's Map 181. And Council May 11, 2015, ready to refer to the Committee on Ordinance and Planning. That report is favorable. The question is on passage to a third reading. All in favor? Opposed, it goes to a third reading. You have 12, 13, and 14. Did you want those collectively? Mr. Make a Mr. President, I make a motion to take items 12, 13, and 14 collectively. Second. Motion been made and seconded that we take items 12, 13, and 14 uh, collectively. We have in favor? Opposed, we're going to do that. I'm going to read the items, Mr. Clerk. Following a petition from Metro Sign and Only <coughs> for 170 Laura Street, 2 Street, Mass, to suspend a sign at 50 Center Street and three different locations. Uh, these have all been recommended favorably by the committee. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. We're going to go back to the agenda for item 11. Ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. Be it ordained as follows. Chapter 2, Administration, Article 4, Financial Affairs, Section 2-256, Abatements, in Council September 28, 2015. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Questions on a passage to a third reading? All in favor? Opposed? It goes to a third reading. Appropriation of $553,978 from unappropriated estimate receipts of fiscal 2016 tax levy new growth to various departments. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. <coughs> Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. <coughs> yes. 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 The order is adopted. An appropriation of $108,355 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 2016, tax levy new growth to various departments. This is in the collective bargaining agreement between the city and its department heads. In council, November 9, 2015, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Appropriation of $416,816, unappropriated estimate receipts, fiscal 2016, tax level new growth to various departments, appropriations needed to, in order to provide funding for labor costs to be incurred in fiscal 2016 for two proposed collective bargaining agreements between the city and the Brockton City Hall Administrative Service Association. The first is for the period of July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2016. And Council November 9, 2015. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Yes. The order is adopted. What well, a sum of two million eight hundred thousand dollars was appropriated to pay costs of various energy conservation improvements to the city buildings, including the payment of all costs incidental related thereto. Such improvements to be made in accordance with energy services agreement between the city and the Marisco Inc. In Council, October 26, 2015. Reading for the Committee on Finance, I report as favorable. Question is on passage to a third reading. All in favor? Opposed? Passes to a third reading. 
order that pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half, the City Council authorize a revolving fund for fiscal year 2016 for the purpose of funding overtime <coughs> expenditures in the fire department to be paid from reimbursements to the city from third parties for authorized overtime. The fire department reimbursable overtime revolving fund shall receive the receipts of payment from reimbursements for overtime expenditures from various service sources for such purposes as hazardous material team response and training, 911 emergency dispatch training, and training for the Plymouth County technical response team. The expenditures from the fund shall be made on the authority and direction of the fire chief, provided that not more than $50,000 may be so expended during fiscal 2016. The fire chief shall comply with the reporting requirements, Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53, and one half. End Council, November 9, 2015. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Fedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. An appropriation of six million three hundred ninety-five dollars, six hundred thirty-one dollars from fiscal 2016 unappropriated estimate receipts of Water Enterprise Fund to DPW Water Enterprise Diesel Fix Desal Fixed Charge six million three hundred ninety-five thousand six hundred thirty-one dollars. This appropriation will allow the Water Department to pay the fiscal 2016 desal fixed charges as obligated by contract and a home rule petition. End Council, July 27, 2015. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please <coughs> call the roll. Azan. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. <coughs> an appropriation of $500,000 for an unappropriate estimate receipts of unappropriate <coughs> estimate receipts of the Water Enterprise Fund to Water <coughs> Enterprise Fund Personal Services Overtime, $200,000. Auditory Maintenance Goods Supplies, $100,000. <coughs> EPA Mandate, $50,000. Expense Reimbursement to the General Fund, $150,000 and order to restore certain cuts made to the water enterprise budget paid for by the anticipated extra revenue. End Council, November 9, 2015. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Order that according to the requirements of Mass Department of Revenue Bulletin 2015-07B, requesting the Council authorize the amortization of the fiscal 2015 snow and ice removal deficit of $2,459,730.62 and not more than three equal installments beginning in fiscal 2016. The CFO is certifying the adoption of an order to permit the amortization of the snow and ice deficit over three fiscal years. However, it is the CFO's recommendation that instead the city present excess levy capacity which is adequate to eliminate that deficit entirely, be utilized to do so. In Council, October 26, 2015, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue one industrial sewer connection at 353 Howard Street, parcel ID 182-043. Plot 40-1 for the property owned by John Lyons Air Distribution Company and Council October 26, 2015. Refer to the Committee on Finance. I report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. <coughs> yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Solomon. Yes. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to enter into the intermunicipal <coughs> agreement between the City of Brockton, Town of West Bridgewater, and the new Family Dollar Store. End Council, November 9, 2015. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Stadins
Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Resolved that the City Council hereby request that a representative and our representatives of Aquaria appear before the Finance Committee to address questions pertaining to the desalinization water contract. In Council March 10, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance by report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, <coughs> please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Stewart. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Resolved that the Proctor City Council calls upon our elected officials in the U.S. Senate and U.S. House of Representatives to oppose the TPP and any similar trade deals if they fail to restructure the misguided and failed policies of the past. In Council November 9, 2015, we're to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Clark. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stewart. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. Mr. President. The order is adopted. Councilor Sullivan. I'm going to respectfully ask that the uh, clerk uh, send certified copies of that approved resolve to our two U.S. Senators and also to Congressman Stephen Lynch. Yeah. Second. Motion has been made and seconded that we... Uh, send the letters appropriately to those parties that Council Sullivan has mentioned. All in favor of that? Opposed? We'll send those letters out per the City Clerk. Thank you. Thank you. Order that the City Council approves the execution of a proposed 20-year agreement between the City and Stonehill College. This agreement provides the term and conditions under which the City would provide sewer services to the College. Referred to the Committee on Finance. An appropriation of $30,000 from Mass Department of Environmental Protection, grant for purposes of sustainable materials recovery program, and a small-scale recycling initiative to Refuse Department Recycling Containers and Small Scale Initiative Grant Fund. Referred to Finance. Council Sullivan for a late file. If I could, um, I have a late file resolve that myself and coll my colleague, uh, Council Shirley Azak from Ward 7, it's a resolve that had been drafted uh, and, and it was just, uh, I think there was a time delay on that. So it, it is with the clerk. It's in the form of a motion, a late file. Second. second. Motion's been made and second to accept that late file. All in favor of that? Opposed, Mr. Clerk will read the late file. I resolve to pass Pastor Roberto Severia of the University Missionary Church and or his designee come before the Finance Committee to discuss efforts, initiative, and proposals being utilized to address the serious issues of homelessness within the city of Brockton. Referred to the Committee on Finance. Yes, Council sir. Sullivan, uh, I have another, I have another, another one. Yes. Mr. President, if I could, uh, I'm going to make a motion of a, a secondary uh, late file. Second. Second. Motion been made and second to accept another late file. All in favor of that? Opposed counts. Uh, Mr. Clark, you have that one there pertaining to 331. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, communication from the mayor in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Laws recommending an appropriation of $331,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 16 tax levy new growth, the stabilization fund, in order to make the final appropriation in advance of setting the fiscal 2016 tax rate. I think he's still. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the time and I was kicked off the pads of plan. I jumped the gun. I apologize. <coughs> now he's, now he's going to go slower. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what, Council, it's all over. <laughs> Speed it up. <laughs> okay. Is that over? No. <laughs> no. In order to make the final appropriation in advance of setting the fiscal 2016 tax rate. This appropriation anticipates that the City Council acts favorably on the financial orders, which were recommended favorably by the Finance Committee on November 16th, including the order to amortize the snow and ice deficit over three fiscal years. If that is the case, after the appropriation, the amount of $2.5 million is available, inavailable tax levy will have been unappropriated in order to reduce taxes. The appropriation also would result in the addition of more than $1 million to the stabilization fund this year when combined with a previous appropriation. 
in order to accomplish this <coughs> appropriation in time to allow setting the tax rate in early December, he asked for passage on the suspension of the rules. Councilman Sullivan. Mr. President, in light of the fact that uh, next Monday is the fifth Monday, we won't be meeting, and then the subsequent will be the, uh, the December 1st, December meeting. I'm going to make a motion because time is of the essence to act on the suspension of the rules on acting this tonight. Second. Second. Motion been made and seconded to act on uh, this this evening. And just on that motion, if anyone has any questions uh, in regards to the matter, Mr. Condon is here if he needs to answer anything. If not, all in favor of that? Yeah, and Mr. Clerk, you're going to read so that they will take a vote to, uh, uh, to finalize that up. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. And we have an appropriation of 331000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 16 tax levy new growth to stabilization fund in order to make the final appropriation in advance of setting the fiscal 2016 tax rate and go pass. <laughs> <laughs> Adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Ioneary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. And, Councilors, that brings us to light that, as Councilor Sullivan had mentioned, next Monday evening there is not a meeting. It is the fifth Monday. However, listen intently. Monday, December 7, 2015, we are going to have a special meeting of the City Council at 6.30 p.m. to set the tax rate. I repeat, Monday, December 7, 6.30 p.m., here in the chambers, we'll have a special yeah, meeting of the city council to set the tax rate. We'll begin our finance meeting previous after. I'll give it till 7.30, and then if we take a few minutes, fine, but that's when finance will be. So we're combining special meeting of the city council, finance meeting, December 7th, 2015, 6.30 p.m. Everybody heard that, correct? Thank you. Yes, Mr. Dubois. Mr. President, may I have a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may, Councilor. Thank you. So um, everyone here knows, and most people at home know, that I'm now a state representative for Brockton. And as part of that, I'm hosting a holiday cheer party. And I'm hosting it along with my state delegation of Representative Claire Cronin and um, State Senator Michael Brady, but also with the state representatives, the city councilors in my state representative district, who is Representative Paul Sadensky and Representative Dennis DiNapoli. So, Long and short of it is, on December 9th, I'm hosting a free Pictures with Santa party at um, the Berkeley Performing Arts Center that's on Massasoit's college campus. So we'll have Santa there from 5 to 8. You can bring your kids. There'll be pizza and sweets and holiday cheer. And I hope that you can make it and that it can get better every year. Thank you. So that's uh, December, Tuesday, December 9th from 5 to 8. Tuesday, December Tuesday, December. I want to make sure I don't give out the wrong date. Should be Just Tuesday, December 8th. Tuesday, December 8th. I'm going to still check it again. So it's Tuesday, December 8th from 5 to 8, and it's at the, the um, Buckley Performing Arts Center on Massasoit's college campus. I'm going to put a flyer up, so I hope you can make it. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. <laughs> Councilor? If I may have a moment of personal Obama. privilege, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I you may. I just want to remind the folks at home and everybody here in the chamber that this weekend we will be celebrating, uh, having our annual holiday celebrations. And on Saturday, there will be the Holiday Bazaar here at City Hall from 10 to 4. Um, there will be the parade kickoff. Uh, it starts at 1 p.m. Santa Hat Challenge is at 12, all uh, right on Main Street. And let's see, Sunday is Family Fun Day, tree lighting. I want to make sure everybody take a look at that. 2 p.m. at Tuxedos by Marion, photos with Santa, and just all around good time. So you, if you want some further information, you can visit usachristmastown.org and take a look at all of the tabs and has all of that in more detail there. You see I have my hat, so hope to see you there. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Council Bonds. Council uh, Dubois. I got it totally wrong. What time is it? It is Wednesday, December 9th. <laughs> Wednesday, December 9th at the Buckley Performing Arts Center, Massasoit Community College, 1 Massasoit Boulevard. <laughs> Wednesday, December 9th from 5 to 8 p.m. It's going to be free pictures with Santa and holiday cheer party. I hope you can make it. Thank Council you. Dubois, I'm thank sorry. you very much. Councilors, there's no other. Councilor Cruz. I want to hurry because we're late, but uh, I'm going to say this just once. I'm going to read it. Thank you. But because we won't have a meeting for a while, I just, uh, I'd be shorting Dave Gorman, who's done such great work, if we didn't mention on December 5th, Saturday, is the Jingle Bell Run. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. uh, two mile fun run walk. You can go to the Enterprise website to uh, get all the information. Uh, to help the Helping Hands funds, and Mr. Gorman does a great job with that every year, and <coughs> we'll all be there to support him. So thank you. Well, thank you, Council. We have a lot of activities going on uh, throughout the next few days. Councilor Sullivan. President, <laughs> I, uh, I just want to take this time to wish you, Mr. President, my <laughs> colleagues, uh, the clerk, uh, the Legislative Council, everybody here, a happy Thanksgiving. I also do want to welcome Ann Beauregard. Uh, the recount was just uh, was just formalized, and Ann will be joining us. So I do want to. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, and uh, don't eat too much turkey, Thank Mr. You, President. <laughs> Councilors, uh, and, and from myself as Council President, I want to take time to wish all of you the very best this coming Thursday for Happy Thanksgiving, and uh, look forward to working with you in the next uh, month as we have the, the holiday season. Best wishes to all. Peace to all. Anything else? Being adjourned.